All right, hello, this is Justin William Savoy. Welcome, if you've never watched one of my videos before. Uh, this is the month of December 2020. Morning time here. I've had some time to contemplate uh, and consider stuff that I would like to talk about. So I've been doing a lot of uh, Orthodox theology of late. And I do plan to get back onto other topics, especially of traditionalism um, and Western literature, religion and spirituality, uh, different religions before besides Christianity. Uh, I got a little pile of other books and some coffee table books and photography books that I'd like to look at. Um, today I decided to do something different. This is a book by the monks of Nuskeet, The Art of Raising a Puppy. And so they wrote another really cool book. I used to have a copy of it. If you know my story, I lost a massive library. Slowly I'm acquiring new books and trying to do a more concise or uh, more uh, precise, maybe would be a better word for it, library that's directed towards things I will read in the remainder of my life, um, should God be merciful and grant me more years. Um, I think it's nice to make these videos as well for my children and God willing grandchildren that they might be able to know um, some things that are important to me in my life. So yeah, How to Be Your Dog's Best Friend is a great dog training manual. I think it's just about the best out there, the approach that is taken. And I wanted to mention also, the Monks of Nooski have a book called In the Spirit of Happiness, which I've read several times. I acquired an extra copy and gave a copy to a friend. I may have given a couple different copies that came into my hands via the Metaphysical Library in Ashland, Oregon or the Rogue Book Exchange here in the Rogue Valley. Um, I live in uh, Oregon on the west coast of North America. Um, so anyways, I would give those away. I do think they're beneficial. I gravitate much more to a traditionalist old calendar type of orthodoxy. Um, not to nitpick by any means, especially in this modernist vile culture which we find ourselves living in, post-modernist, post-Christian. Um, all right, well, what I want to say is, yeah, so that book is kind of their story, the biography of how their community came into existence with Father Lawrence there and the other early monks that found that um, particular place. And I think, are they in the OCA is what I think, the Orthodox Church of America, I believe, and they're more modernists from my views, like the priests, they'll wear, I think, or actually the monks and whatnot, sometimes they'll wear street clothes. Um, they came from a Catholic, and I don't know if it was Eastern Catholic. I do think originally, originally, originally they were Franciscans that became interested in Eastern Rite Catholicism and the Orthodox Church, if I remember correctly. Um, but the whole point of this is that this is a really cool um, dog training manual, and I used it for my dog here. His name is Boris. Uh, he is a Siberian Husky. He's much older than this now. And um, my ex-wife has possession of him, and she took even the dog, as the country western song goes. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, so I, I love Siberians. They're very challenging. The monks of Nuski, they breed German shepherds, and each monk has a particular dog that they work with, and I think that they kind of um, live with also. Uh, so try to get your hands on how to be your dog's best friend. I like that book. It has really cool illustrations and neat pictures of the monks. It looks like kind of 70s, early 80s-ish, and goes into some detail about their community. Um... The Art of Raising a Puppy. The authors of the classic guide, How to Be Your Dog's Best Friend, now tell you everything you need to know about the crucial first month of your puppy's life. From the decision to adopt a pup through the practical steps of choosing the right breed, preparing your home, 
caring for your new charge, and practicing basic obedience exercises. The monks of New Skeet offer clear, compassionate guidelines for raising a puppy. Renowned for breeding German shepherds, the monks train their own beautiful dogs and dogs of any breed according to the unique program based on understanding canine behavior and enhancing the bond between the dog and the owner. This communion begins in puppyhood and is based on a deep respect and affection Improper care, poor training, or a lack of attention during the early months can lead to problem behaviors that become increasingly difficult to alter as your dog matures. By learning to gently assert your dominance from the start, you build a lasting and loving relationship with your pup. This complete guide Illustrated with more than 80 black and white photographs, explains the stages of puppy development, how to communicate with your pup, how to begin to complete training program, how to deal with common problems like chewing, jumping up, paper training, and the kind of fulfillment a solid relationship with your pup can bring is demonstrated in the stories of three dogs who have assumed special places in their owner's lives. The art of raising a puppy is an essential source of wisdom, information, and inspiration for anyone who loves and cares for a puppy. As a community, the monks of Nuskeet have been breeding, raising, and training dogs for more than 20 years. Nuskeet Monastery is located in Cambridge, New York. Now available, raising your dog with the monks of Nuskeet, three VHS tape series, bringing their philosophy to training methods in your home. So as you can see, uh, this is fairly... Uh, older as it's recommending VHS tapes. I don't know if they have new dog training uh, material out there, but it's, they're worth looking up online. Um, and um, so I really grew a lot as a person and spiritually from raising my dog Boris as a young, um, as a brand new puppy in the world um, until currently. I had him with me during a very hard time in life going through my divorce. And then eventually, eventually I am in an apartment and my ex-wife and children for the most part live in a home. I think it's good for him to be with my children the majority of the time just because he is a lot more um, psychologically happy as well. <clears throat> Abba Xantheus said, a dog is better than I am, for he loves and does not judge the sayings of the Desert Fathers. So, uh, yeah, I think that these are just about the best. I use this for raising him as a puppy and then read How to Be Your Dog's Best Friend as supplemental material. And I implemented just about everything I learned here um, and had a well-behaved Siberian. Uh, Siberians are, by their very nature, a uh, mischievous breed, however... Um, and if people ease up on that discipline, I can't really control currently now how a lot of that is, but he was just a great companion. I used to take him with me working when I worked outdoors, um, just about anything. I got him licensed as a therapy dog and would take him and, um, he was just, um, great for other people as well and well behaved around other um, dogs also, um, when we enjoy the dog park in Ashland, Oregon a lot, um, a lot of hikes with him, you do have to be fairly, um, S Siberians are just an interesting breed, I'll just leave it at that, um, acknowledgements, introduction, one, monk as midwife, two, the mystery of development, a miniature adult, the development of individuality, Three, more than meets the eyes, neonatal period one through 13 days, vulnerability, development, immaturity, individuality, benefits of stress. Four, light shines in darkness, transitional period, 13 to 20 days. Five, opening up to the world, socialization period, four to 12 weeks. What is socialization? Phase one, socialization with dogs. A gentle weaning, phase two, socialization with people, a special pup, a growth, environment, individual attention. Testing the puppies, puppy aptitude testing, testing Anka's litter, the fear avoidance period. Seven, deciding to adopt a puppy, the one-dimensional owner, who should have a dog, so you really want a dog, mixed or purebred puppy, pet shop puppy, question mark. Adopting a puppy from an animal shelter, where to get a puppy, 
male or female, which breed is best for you, personality, lifestyle, environment, do your homework, eight, finding a dog breeder, nine, first things first, preparation, naming supplies, food and water, bowls, collars, leash, grooming tools, Shipping crate or metal cage, chemical deodorizer, cleaners, toys, optional items, tin, a new beginning at the breeders, the ride home, introduction to the house, the first night, trip to the veterinarian, 11, house training and preliminary obedience exercises, using a crate, introducing your pup to a crate, a consistent schedule, feeding schedule, accidents do happen, the city puppy, leash training and preliminary obedience work. 12, the foundations of training. The socialization period concludes the juvenile period. Rory, what is training? Me, a trainer. To obey is to hear. 13, reading your dog. Canine communication, vocal communication, visual communication, olfactory communication, pack dynamics, training the pack. Lessons from the pack, becoming a pack leader. Exercise one, restraint. Exercise two, examining mouth and ears. Exercise three, full body massage and repositioning. Fifteen, basic training for puppies. An overview of puppy training at New Ski. Training your puppy on basic obedience. Training as an art. Learning how to correct. The training collar. Putting the collar on correctly. How to hold the leash. The three-step correction. Using your voice correctly. The basic exercises. Heel, sit stay, eye contact, come, a positive approach, step one, leash length recall, step two, moving backwards with the puppy following, step three, recall with the long line, if a mistake happens, down, working towards a down stay, concluding the session, enjoying your pup, looking back. 16, discipline and common puppy problems, mouthing, Chewing, jumping up, possessiveness, submission urination, car sickness, stool eating. 17. General care for your puppy. Feeding your puppy properly. What is puppy food? How long should my pup stay on puppy food? What type of puppy food should I use? How do I select a particular brand? How often should I feed my pup? What other general feeding recommendations would you offer? How much should I feed my pup? Should my pup always have water available? Grooming your puppy. Starting early, brushing and coat care, clipping, nails, cleaning, ears and eyes, bathing and exercise. 18. Troika, when relationship transforms. Buck, Sam, Wunsch. Epilogue, a new way of seeing. Appendix, evolution interpretation puppy tests, interpreting the scores, bibliography, Index. Excuse me while I take a drink of coffee and then we'll continue along. <clears throat> Let's take a further look at this book. The Art of Raising a Puppy. Introduction. Monasteries are not as un otherworldly as you might imagine, if they appear secluded or removed from the mainstream of society's activity, it is only because they attempt to create a climate that fosters authentic engagement with life at its most profound and human level, something often lost them in the noise and distraction of today's world. When we are quiet enough, freed from our inner noise and chatter, we can see with new respect the natural beauty and wisdom of the world around us and appreciate our ties to it. Such perceptive silence opens up our lives to healthy reverence and awe for all things. It creates a capacity for openness that is both humanizing and life-giving. So what does all this have to do with raising a puppy? A great deal. We believe our monastery is set in a quiet rural area in Upper New York State. For more than 20 years, as a part of an effort to support ourselves, we have been actively involved in breeding and raising of German Shepherd dogs. We have also operated a training and consolation program that is open to dogs of all breeds. During this time, we have worked closely with numerous professionals, breeders, trainers, and veterinarians to deepen our understanding of all facets of canine care. 
We have learned that our monastic environment offers us a unique perspective. Here we are forced to re-examine our attitudes about everything, including dogs. We are constantly challenged to become more open to the language dogs use to communicate with us. This experience confirms our deepest intuitions about the relationship of human beings, not only with their dogs, but with every aspect of their lives. In our book, How to Be Your Dog's Best Friend, we made what we have learned about dog behavior and training available for other people and their dogs in varied and diverse environments where they live. So, I'm not going to finish reading this introduction. We can look at some of the pictures here of the different... Dogs. Very in-depth book. Like I said, I used this one when I had my Siberian as a new puppy, and then I went on and read How to Be Your Dog's Best Friend. Uh, it was kind of cool because at the same time I was reading In the Spirit of Happiness, and I have read much more like, you know, I guess like dense and um, erudite type of spiritual books that have to do with orthodoxy or orthodox theology books, all the common stuff that converts would be reading along the way, all the different biographies and autobiographies and patristical texts and all those things but for some reason their book in the spirit of happiness did help me a lot it kind of helped me to view my christianity in a different way and um to be able to take it very serious but also to be able to um put down not put down the seriousness of it but um it just i feel like it gave me a more healthy holistic look on things i don't know how to explain that you'd have to check out the book for yourself A lot of the monks there, if not all of them almost, were converts to orthodoxy. So I think that's maybe why it helped me as well, coming from my background. I don't even know what it'd be like. I have many cradle um, orthodox friends, but I can't really put myself in their skin and imagine what it would be like to actually be um, born and baptized orthodox as a child and raised by a devout Orthodox family. Um, so I am kind of rambling on, um, but the purpose of this is as a dog training manual, like I said. But there's a real spiritual dimension to these books as well, and I feel like they will help you for sure um, bond with your dog. Um, again, it's not a plug for the books. I have nothing to gain um, by recommending these books, only just being very honest with you um, about the impact that the books had on me as I used them um, to raise really my best friend is um, my dog Boris um, I have grieved and was sad over really the loss of having him um, living with me even uh, during my divorce and some of the hardest times of my life he was with me in the home that I had when I lived in Grant's Pass, I worked in mental health and in the hospital. So sometimes it was unfair to him because I had very long hours. But I had a yard and an environment that was conducive to him as well as um, a pretty cool home for him to live in. And um, our personalities were melded together. I had him before my youngest three sons. Before I had them, I had Boris. Um, so he was raised with those children and he does seem to be a lot happier um, with them. Yeah, this is cool too. They talk about equipment, equipment, <clears throat> some important equipment for you and your pup pictured in two nylon training colors, a flat nylon collar, a six foot braided leather leash, two flex leads, one 16 feet, the other 26 feet in length. I mean, love is the most important thing, but a part of love is discipline. Um, when it comes with working with a dog. And it's always nice to have the money to be able to buy the supplies uh, that you need and to give the dog um, the proper love and attention that it requires and to do things the right way. I'm not saying that if you don't have a lot of money that you shouldn't get a dog, especially a rescue dog from a shelter um, that you could care for and love. 
um, and save its life, really. But it is nice to be able to provide the things they need. I had quite a bit of money at that time. I had saved. I was working for a company called Pacific Domes, doing geodesic domes. Um, and then I moved and I started a small organic farming business and did some landscape um, and yard maintenance work and was doing organic gardening and had um, some acres in the woods. And I crate trained him as a puppy. Um, which I think is the best way to do things. You have to do it and do it the right way and understand a dog canine behavior and how they enjoy a cave-like environment. And a lot of the biology and um, breeding and whatnot that goes into that. These guys go in depth about all of that stuff. Retractable leashes are excellent for preliminary leash training. Yeah, how to leash train. Properly walking your dog. Um, there's sections in here, not just about training, but caring for, and all the different phases of development. Buy both the books if you are going to order them. I always recommend used bookstores. Of course, if you order them somewhere like Amazon, just uh, do it at a... Um, or order both. Do yourself a favor and get both this book and How to Be Your Dog's Best Friend. Um, In scene is being conscious of how your pup sees the world. To your pup, shoes and hands will appear much larger than you imagine, even frightening. A lot of the psychology of the animal. Uh, this is really cool here. A schema, nine possible shifts in facial expression of an adult German Shepherd. The body language. Reading how to read the dog. I haven't looked at this book for a long time. Someday I will, God willing, have another dog. I love Siberians. I don't know if I'll do it again or if I'll get maybe an Austrian Shepherd or... I don't know. I do like the wolf-like breeds. Uh, Siberians are extremely challenging. I don't really feel compelled towards a Malamute or a different Northern Spitz type of dog. I'm not really sure. Maybe I grew up around Labradors, so maybe a Lab, as I am getting older, later phase in life, just having a dog that is inclined to stay put. Siberians, they want to run and they want to pull, you know? That's just a part of the breed. You have to understand the breed of dogs. I can't emphasize that enough that they're all really different. There are some basic canine behaviors. <coughs> but breed-specific traits are important to understand, to know what you're getting into. Don't just get a Siberian, like a Siberian Husky, because you think they look cool. Or what they're calling hybrids. It's just kind of a misnomer. Um, uh, Siberian that's mixed with a timber wolf, canis lupus, gray wolf. Um, don't get the animal because you think that it's cool looking. That's the wrong reason. Understand the breed. Understand what you're getting into so you can give the dog a quality life to give the dog a good life. Um, and truly become your dog's best friend. Basic forms of exercise. Exercising very important. Uh, we do fail as um, animal owners, as dog owners at times. We're not perfect humans, so give yourself grace and just pick up the mantle. Dogs are very forgiving, very in the moment. They don't really have the same sense of time as we do. So there's always chance and opportunity to learn from our mistakes and to be better um, dog owners. Work on achieving regular eye contact with your pup. As she faces you on a sit-stay, snap your fingers in front of her face and draw her attention to your eyes. So you can watch them and how they work with these dogs on the videos. I think it's very 
um, helpful to see that in action. They do dog training and obedience school as well as raising the dogs. Here's, you get into a section on problems. General care for your puppy. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I could read more, but I think you get the gist of what this book is all about. Cute little guy. Um, the Art of Raising a Puppy. The Stages of Puppy Development, The Decision to Adopt a Puppy, The Right Breed for You, Where to Get a Puppy, Finding a Dog Breeder, Preparing your puppies for Your Puppy's Arrival, The First Day at Home, Learning to Read Your Dog, A Complete Guide to the Basic Training Methods, Solutions to Common Problems, Feeding and Grooming and General Care, Praise to How to Be Your Dog's Best Friend, This is the Most Reliable Book on Book Training for the Layman, That this reviewer has come across any person who has ever thought of owning a dog should read this engaging book cover to cover the monks of new skeet have turned out a book on virtually every phase of dog care understanding and training they have done so from a tremendous depth of affection for the animals and affection that shows the phase after phase of the book a fine book indeed washington post Full and sympathetic details of well-illustrated chapters and excellent course of canine care and obedience. So here I uh, um, received this book from this nonprofit. Um, if you were in the Rogue Valley, give them support. I told them if I got books from them that I reviewed, I would make mention of them. Um, just uh, such a great resource to have in the Rogue Valley. I've gotten many um, books for my children's education on there. And I had, I was thrilled to find this at the Metaphysical Library because I had bought copies of this and The Art of Being Your Dog's Best Friend and The Spirit of Happiness, paid full price for them. And I unfortunately lost just a lot of books. Um, and I'm slowly just rebuilding a small library, nothing fancy, just kind of readers' copies and whatnot. So it was neat to find this. And I'll definitely utilize it again, this and... Um, the how to Be Your Dog's Best Friend, or just lifelong, great um, dog-raising manuals, the best that I've ever seen. And then um, they will give you other recommendations for places to go um, as far as your reading and interests are for learning about dog training and whatnot. And if you want some biographical information on the monks themselves and their spiritual communi uh, community there at New Skeet, you can get in the spirit of happiness. Uh, this has been Justin Williams Savoy. I look forward to doing some more reviews very soon. I hope you find yourself safe and happy um, during this difficult time. It seems to be strange times we're living in uh, here in North America. Everything with the elections and whatnot still not settled. It's the very beginning of November. Economically, things are weird. Uh, I can be reached at SavoyJustin123 at gmail.com. That's S-U-V-O-Y-J-U-S-T-I-N-123 at gmail.com. If you'd like to discuss the channel, learn how you can support my channel. Um, also, um, feel free to comment below. Like and subscribe if you haven't and you'd like to. Tell others about the channel. Um, and I like to... Do videos on literature, um, particularly of the Western canon, spirituality, Christianity, um, comparative myth, um, traditionalist stuff, and I look forward to providing more material for you. So this has been a break from my usual stuff, but somewhat pertains to it, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Alright, thank you very much. Bye.